Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a daily basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows in this channel. On this channel. <laughs> this is a productive cannabis connoisseur. It is a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 21 and over. So on Tuesdays, I like to do a show called Cannabis and Creativity and to show you how cannabis uh, helps me to get that crazy critic out of the way and continue to create what I really can see within my mind. So I want to give you an update of this one doll, whoops, <laughs> this one doll I've been working on. But before I do that, um, where's my lighter? <laughs> so yeah, I have a little smoke session before we get into talking about that. And this is what I've been smoking on, is Pink Girl Scout. Pink Girl Scout is a hybrid. It was grown from a Girl Scout cookie seed. And as it was blossoming and blooming, the flower on the top hat was pink. So that's why it got its name. It's no longer pink, but that's why it's called Pink Girl Scout. And it has more of a pungent, kind of um, stinky smell than regular Girl Scout cookie. But when you, um, <clears throat> but when you burn it, it's totally different. So yeah, hope everybody's having a great day today, um, not too stressed out, my day's been kind of busy, uh, on my other channel I was uh, putting together a show about uh, a tutorial I've been doing, so if you want to check that out, that's cool, it's on how to make a cloth arch tribal, tribal doll, so yeah, hope everybody is uh, feeling well, getting outside too. Cheers. Oh no. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Hold that thought. I'm going to grab another lighter. <laughs> I'll be back. This is definitely live. Got another lighter. And now I gotta readjust this curtain really quick. So maybe just smoke and enjoy this silly show right now. Hopefully my battery won't go out because I don't think I have that much time on my camera as far as my battery goes. But if not, I will continue the show and have a part two. <laughs> I'm so silly, huh? I had a feeling, too, that this lighter was going to run out. I just didn't listen to my instincts, which I always tell everybody to do, and I don't always do it. <laughs> I'm obviously not a perfect being yet. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Cheers. going to be a short one. Um, <coughs> if you remember this doll, and I'm sure a lot of people do if they're following along, it's an art doll I've been working on. It's a <coughs> repainted doll, porcelain doll, that a friend of mine sent through the mail because she knows I like to repaint dolls and make them into art dolls. So the top of it is a hat that is from like a, like a toy drum. Um, the face was painted with acrylic paint. The whole body here is paper mache with, like, if you see guitar type of um, designs on it from the guitar, was it Guitar Player magazine? But anyway, the wings are made from recycled <coughs> fabrics that I painted with acrylic paints and then came in with the glittery part with using uh, glitter glue. Yeah, like, I, like, um, I kind of constructed it using. Mod Podge and old wire hanger. So yeah, it's almost done. Almost done. Yeah, you should have seen her beforehand. And I like to adorn it with like feathers and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> and I also have an instrument to go with her. And she has a little little guitar that I painted. This is a toy guitar, and she is supposed to be 
a musical muse that you can hang in your house for inspiration, for music, for art, whatever you want it to be, she can be for you. <laughs> yeah, so that's just an example of what cannabis can do. And I'm not saying it's all cannabis because I'm creative myself and most artists who do uh, partake in cannabis know about that. So, and yeah, it just makes you feel like you're freed up and you don't have to like <clears throat> force yourself to create things you really don't want to create. This is her, and um, I plan on doing a tutorial on how to make uh, repainted um, art dolls uh, once I get another art, another uh, porcelain doll or plastic doll. And usually they're given to me by a friend of mine, or I get them at the thrift store, or sometimes I'll find them <coughs> like in a you know people put their garbage out like a garbage heap stuff that you can't really put into your garbage. Sometimes people abandon dolls. A doll is thrown over the fence into my compost heap, so <laughs> it's just like the doll has followed me, and yeah, I think it's a good means of expression to express yourself, and everybody should feel free to express themselves. Put you over there, as long as you're not hurting anyone, right? No mistake to that, right? So thank you everybody <coughs> for joining me today for Cannabis and Creativity. If you want to learn more about my artwork, you can go to my <coughs> you can go to my Etsy shop, which is www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com. You can also uh, check out my blog where I talk about my art creations at www.trinaartist.blogspot.com. And I will have all of those links down below. And yeah, thank you everybody for subscribing. Thank you everybody for liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family. And thank you for your kind comments. They mean a lot to me. And feel free to, feel free <laughs> to share any comments you might have. And if you want me to do more of these types of... If you're interested in these types of shows that I do. I'm going to continue to do shows revolving around art anyway, but... If you're interested, let me know and yeah, check out my blog and my website and maybe you can suggest a tutorial you want to see. Alright, yeah, I just want to emphasize, yeah, cannabis does help with creativity. Mainly why it helps with my creativity because it helps me to relax and to tune out all the other uh, stresses that I may have going on in my life. So, I'm towards the end on this. <laughs> so cheers and thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys get some time out to be creative, get outside of Mother Earth, and uh, yeah, just find some time to just be instead of always running around doing things. Alright, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.